From the buzzing streets of Tokyo down to the city of Osaka, the presence and influence of the Yakuza are undeniable. But if you are new to the Japanese underworld crime scene, you might wonder what Yakuza stands for. Well, not to worry. In a few minutes, I'll be taking you through one of Asia's most powerful organized crime syndicates as we get to find out what the life of a Yakuza member looks like. Just like the Italians and Americans have the Cosa Nostra, what we commonly refer to as the Mafia, and the Russians have the Bratva, the Japanese have what they call the Yakuza. The Yakuza is their own version of the Mafia. It is a transnational crime syndicate that essentially runs the show in the Asian country. Known for their strict code of conduct, the gang adopts unconventional samurai-like rituals. As part of their initiation, they are required to take blood oaths of allegiance. Members are often heavily tattooed and wear a traditional Japanese loincloth called fundoshi. However, in more recent years, members of the Yakuza have favored Western-style suits. The organization is also known to use the katana, the traditional sword of the samurai. When the Yakuza wants to perform a flashy or high-profile murder, the katana is often used as the weapon of execution. A famous Yakuza assassination that used the katana was the murder of Juntaro Suzuki, the vice president of Fujifilm, who was murdered in 1994 for refusing to accept a Yakuza bribe. Another ritual performed by gang members is yubitsume, also referred to as otoshimai, which is the cutting of the finger as a form of apology. I would like to point out that Yakuza members do not chop off their fingers as a form of punishment or out of compulsion. They do so willingly to pay their debts or as atonement for a mistake, so they can remain a part of the organization or simply to stay alive. When a gang member commits an offense, he can choose to cut the tip of his finger, which is usually the pinky, and present the severed part to his oyabun, that is, his boss. The origin of the pinky finger cutting comes from the traditional Japanese way of holding a sword. In the Japanese style, the bottom three fingers are used to tightly grip the sword, while the thumb and index fingers remain slightly loose. So cutting the tiny finger ultimately weakens the person's sword grip. The Yakuza do this because they believe that a person with a weak sword grip would rely on the group for protection rather than stand alone. An underboss can also present his finger to an oyabun to spare a member of his own gang who might have erred from being punished. In the Yakuza, chopping off the fingers could signify one of two things. In a situation where a gang member cuts off his finger to atone for an offense, the finger is referred to as a dead finger. But if he sacrifices the finger for a subordinate or a friend, then that's a living finger. Well, the Japanese have always had a thing for cutting themselves. In the past, many warriors have voluntarily ended their lives as atonement for a crime, a traditional practice called seppuku. So it's really not a surprise that this sort of weird tradition found its way into their biggest crime body. However, the practice is no longer as popular among the gang as before, because it makes it easy for the police to identify Yakuza members. The Yakuza is a criminal gang, and it's only wise to try to stay off the radar of the police as best as one can. Another practice among Yakuza members is wearing full body tattoos, sometimes down to their genitals. Tattoos were not so popular in Japan, but the older generation of Yakuza members had tattoos all over their bodies. Even today, several Yakuza members still walk around the streets heavily tattooed. The traditional tattoo known as Irizumi can be extremely painful and expensive, and it is a sign that the person was tough, had money to spend, and had turned his back on society, as his chances of securing a normal job would be greatly affected. Back then, corporate organizations didn't want to employ a man who was tattooed from head to toe. Being heavily tattooed can still deny you certain employment opportunities in a highly traditional country like Japan. Drawing this tattoo involves inserting ink under the skin using handmade, non-electric, handheld tools with sharpened bamboo needles. The very painful procedure also took years to complete, while some Yakuza still favor this method, others prefer newer techniques. Yakuza members proudly display their full body tattoos when they play the traditional Japanese game Oicho Kabu. During the game, they remove their shirts and drape them around their waists, one of the very few times they proudly display their body art. Usually, they wear long-sleeved and high-neck shirts to hide their tattoos in public. When new members join the Yakuza, they are often required to remove their trousers during the game to show off lower body tattoos. The Yakuza were originally made up of gamblers and street merchants and became really prominent after World War II when they controlled the country's black market and entertainment scene. 
managing some of Japan's most popular entertainment stars before dabbling into real estate, construction, fraud, blackmail, money laundering, cyber crimes, and even politics. The Yakuza is hierarchical in structure, similar to that of the Italian mafia. They are organized into hundreds of gangs, with the Yamaguchi Gumi being the largest. The structure also mimics that of the samurai, as they value both obedience and honor, and have no problem using violence to accomplish their goals. Their social order is organized into a pyramid, with the Kumiko, who is the godfather figure, at the top of the family. Below him are his lieutenants and underbosses, while the bottom of the pyramid consists of gang members. Members are bound to one another through the sacred Oyabun Koban relationship, which is more like the relationship between a master and his apprentice, or even a father-son relationship. The Oyabun is expected to provide guidance and protection, and in return, his subordinate, the Kobun, offers his undying loyalty and obedience. Any member of the Yakuza can be both Oyabun and Kobun. They are subordinate to those ranked above them, and they are masters to those ranked below. Membership of the Yakuza itself is not illegal, as Yakuza-owned businesses and gang headquarters are often clearly marked, but the Japanese government has implemented stricter laws against criminal groups. The result is a massive decline in the number of active Yakuza members. Today, there are 21 major groups and only about 53,000 members. While they like to hide under the umbrella of being legitimate businessmen, most Japanese are of the opinion that even though some Yakuza do engage in legitimate businesses, a larger share of their money-making activities are illegal. They, however, claim to be humanitarian groups that help keep the order in Japan. It's not really certain what they mean when they say they keep order and how they go about it, but the Yakuza is widely known as a criminal gang, and all over the world, gangs are not exactly civil. And that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Kindly hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more. I'll see you soon.